How you guys doing? It's Justin from Weeby Autos. And I have a beautiful 1979 Malibu. And I have the owner Nick with me and he's gonna tell us all about this car. How you doing? This is a 1979 Malibu. It's got a 468 built by J&A. It's 10 and a half compression, so it runs on pump gas, has a hydraulic roller cam, has a brand new brand eater that I know about, transmission, uh, drive shaft, everything is new, all the way to the back of the car to the rear fuel pumps. Uh, and the electric fuel pumps, got the wheelie bars on the car, and the car is ready for track or street. I've only driven this car so far, 10 miles, I only completed it last Saturday. Just finished the car. Just got it out of the shop. So wow. it's got a lot of odds and ends that I, I forgot to mention the car has. Uh, got the trans brake in the car, it's got the line lock in the car. It's ready for action. Either way. But I don't like to race it, I don't like to break anything. <laughs> so uh, I, I enjoy this car and like I said I only had ten miles on the car. And what what motor do you have in it? It's a four sixty eight. It was a 454 out 30 over for the 468, built by J&A. I called up James last night and talked to him about it. Got a hydraulic roller, so you don't have to worry about adjusting valves. And you run it on pump gas. You don't need racing gas, although I mix it. I don't know how good it's going to run. I haven't driven that much yet. But I mix the gas. Okay. Mostly I run up to 60. And maybe I used uh, 5 gallons, 10 gallons so far. And it's got a turbo 400 tranny in it, right? Brand new with the brake. And what about the rear? It's got a set of four tens, 12 bolt rear, small bolt Chevy rear, four tens. It's got to be a monster. The car is a little bit of a monster for me, anyway. But it's 63 years old. It's a monster. Four hundred seventy horsepower, estimated. Haven't had a dyno yet. And I'm looking to sell the car, you know, before the winter, because if I have the car longer, I'm going to end up back here for the car. <laughs> That's what I started to do. I built this car. This was nothing but a shell when I bought it. An empty shell with nothing. And uh, twenty-five thousand dollars later, here it is. <laughs> so you got about 25,000 into it, right? Total, with the car and everything. Alright, tell us a little bit about the interior. What'd you do? You, you made uh, the dash panels, put the gauges? Yeah, I bought, the, I bought that dash panel, which I was really skeptical about buying it, but I bought it because I had a couple of cracks in the dash, and I bought it, and it looks like I never even changed it. I put the bucket, racing bucket seats in it, the back seat came in the car. I did all the gauges, all the gauges work. The only gauges are give, give me a hard time with when you get that ring in it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the only thing that's giving me a hard time is the fuel gauge. Got to check that out. All the gauges work, everything works. Well, the fuel gauge should be easy enough because you got a fuel cell in the trunk, right? You want to open that up? Yeah, sure. Take a look at that. So I brought it to get checked out, the fuel cell. The guy said maybe the elements from the fuel cell might be in the pickup. Okay. Let's check that. Go we'll check it out. Would you mind opening up the hood and show us the meat of the car? Sure. <laughs> Got a fiberglass hood on it. Oh, 
Yeah. All right, how about we get a snack? I don't want to wake up the neighbor. <laughs> this is definitely a neighbor waker. Sounds great. All right, guys. There you have it. And again, this is Justin from Weeby Autos. And I have about 100 pictures of this car up on my website, which is weebyautos.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to call, please. My number is 631-456. 7205